everyone welcome or welcome back to epicartdesigns.com if you are not subscribed make sure that you subscribe to our channel so that you can see more content like this and make sure to like this video on today's video i'm going to be showing you guys how to create this luxury equity scheduling site this can be used for your hair business your um makeup business or if you're MUA, mua you can definitely use this but before I get into the video, I did want to let you guys know that we are now on Patreon. And this is for anyone who want to see real-time tutorials on anything that I'm doing. Uh, if anyone has questions or you just want to know what type of things that I'm using uh, for my funeral programs, it's all on there. So go ahead and check that out. And don't forget to follow us on social media. We also post content on there. So let's go ahead and get into the video. So the size of my canvas is 3,000 by 8,000 pixels. Now most people when they're creating these acuity scheduling sites, they kind of break it up into sections, um, which is okay if, they, if it works better for you. But I personally like to have it all laid out just so my design flows. So yeah, that's why I'm working with this. Um, so go ahead and try that. Maybe it helps your design flow if that's what you're having an issue with. But I did want to give you guys some tips on creating luxury um, designs. So tip one is try to use like thin minimalist fonts when you're creating. It will help give you like that um, luxury aesthetic and sleek look that everyone is going for. And most people tend to think that fonts are not really important when you are designing. But I find that it is because it can really make or break your whole design. Fonts can really bring out the background color or just in general the overall feel. In this case we're looking for a luxury feel so therefore we're going to choose a font that gives off luxury. Okay guys, so tip two is make sure, and this is a must, please make sure that you use high quality pictures and elements. Anything that you're using in your design should be high quality because you don't want something that looks very highly or just like pixelated and it's just, it gives your whole design, it makes it look off and just not good quality. So if you want that luxury feel and you want it to please you or please whoever you are making it for, just make sure that everything you use in art is high quality, all the graphics, all the background, and you should be great that the whole design will come out way better. Tip three. Now this tip is a little bit more personal because this is just my preference. Um, so it is when you're creating something or you want it just to be luxury, try to use like something metallic whether it's black silver pink or whatever what's any type of color just make sure that it includes like a metallic font so as you see here i kind of have the letters in like this metallic gold um so yeah just make sure that you at least try that it works for me when i'm doing something luxurious these tips really help to kind of build up that to make sure that it's luxurious and also guys i use this in my funeral programs a lot um, when you are designing, make sure you have some type of blending. It kind of upgrades your designs and make it look very premium and just like professional. I really like to use that. As you see on this design, I kind of have that ombre uh, blend going up up there. So I just make sure to include that and it helps a lot. And when you are designing your acuity scheduling, just make sure that you are thinking about the, the structure. So at the top, you can maybe have the um, introduction in the middle, just have the contact or the general info. And then at the bottom, that's where I will have the booking policies. And finally, where something saying where the client can agree to the booking policies, just something like that so that you can structure it correctly. And you will see me going back and forth from a design, and that's because I actually did this for someone, but I changed the photos because I wanted to show you guys how it was done. So yeah, that's why you're going to see me doing it. So now for when you are uploading it to Acuity, just make sure from here you download it as a JPG and you set the quality to 40. You have to do this because if you set any other quality or... If you try to upload it higher than that, then it will not upload to Equity because they have a certain size limit where you can upload. So just make sure that you follow those and you should be great. And if you have any questions or need further assistance with what I just said, leave a comment below and I'll get back to you as soon as possible. So that's pretty much all guys. Um, if you have any questions again about any other tips that I've stated, uh, let me know below. And let me know if you guys decided to go with these tips or what you felt about them. Um, I'm going to let you guys finish watching this video and I'll see you at the end. <laughs> wow, Eli. Thank you.
and that's the end of this video guys thank you so much for watching um make sure that you like this video and you subscribe to our channel to see more content like this and if you have any questions again leave them below guys thanks so much and i will see you on the next video